Hi, here's Chris with a new tutorial for Blender. Today I show you how to drag and drop materials from the Outliner window directly into the viewport without using the pull-down menu here to change them. So let's see how this works. Okay, so I have these three nice example objects here. A red cube, a green torus and a yellow sphere. And as you can see, we have three materials, red, green and yellow. And there is another material that is not assigned to any of them. It's a blue one. We can see it here with the zero. There is no object uh, assigned to this material. All this material is not assigned to any object. So. Normally you would click on this object, for example, and say you want to have a blue one and you switch. But to do this by drag and drop, it's very easy. You open, for example, a second outliner window here, a second one, and you go to the view mode here and you change it to Blender file. In this way, you can see all the information that is con uh, included in our file, in our Blender file. Not the scene, it's in our file. Because Blender can uh, manage several scenes too, as you maybe know. So all we can see here is uh, the, the, the elements of the scene. And one of the elements are the materials tab here, the folder. When we open it, we can see all our materials. And we can already use the drag and drop option to use this material. For example, when I want to have a green material back, I just go here on green and drag it directly to our object and the selected object can be seen here and you see the new material with these options here in our uh, properties window here. Good. And now uh, you can, of course, you can use another one. You can take the blue one again and drag it on the sphere, for example. So what we, uh, if we want to see just the materials, we filter them. So we have here on the right top side a filter system and we can say we want to filter the materials or the scene. And to filter just the materials, we go to filter and we choose the element we want to see. You can do this here in this icon and you see all these categories can be filtered. And one of the categories is, for example, material. Uh, for better usability, all the categories are alphabetically sorted. So you can you see the first one is here, the A and B and so on. And, and, and uh, below M, you see the material. So and now our filter filters just the materials and we see only the materials. And this way we can make our small outliner window to a uh, proprietary as uh, easy using material selection. Unfortunately you cannot see any any uh, preferences or any icons but you have the ability to to manage all your materials in your scene and you can you can drag them for example to to the objects how you like and it works very well. So you can use, you can see, you can use a second outliner window that is filtered to a special category of your scene. And in this case, we have the materials here and the materials can be now used for drag and drop and so on. Okay, it's very easy and this is how it works. And here we have a second, uh, another outliner where you have all your scene and uh, the scene you're working with. So. This is uh, very nice, as you can see, and we can do it very fast and can manage our scene in this way. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you like my small tips and watch my YouTube channel. Have a nice day and see you soon. Bye bye.